Un Academy. Let's crack it. Hi everyone. There is this thing called mocks. And those mocks are extremely important now that a few days are left for CAT. Now, students actually get very worried because first things first, they have this wrong notion about mocks. I'll start with that. Then I'll come to my foolproof technique. Students think mock is a way of increasing your scores. And if you're not, incre you're not able to increase your score in mocks right now, you are doomed for failure. Get this out of your head. It's nothing like that. So what are mocks and why do we need them? Mocks are just for practice. Mocks are to help you calm down your nerves, okay? Mocks are to give you that sense of time management, to feel the time pressure, to actually perform under time pressure. That is why we take mocks. Now, that is the first thing that students do wrong. They get this misconception, as I said. The second thing is, Students, like after talking to many of my students, I have found this. Students feel that it is imperative for them to appear for 50 mocks, 70 mocks, 90 mocks. Ma'am, baki log to de rahe hain itne mocks. So, you know, ma'am, main wo pressure mein hoon. That I have to take 70 mocks, mera to abhi 10 bhi nahi hua hai. So, what do I do? So, what does the student do actually? He starts hitting mocks like crazy. He doesn't take out time to analyze the mocks. He doesn't even focus more on time management, he just starts hitting the mocks, like shots in the dark. Okay? Those are going to go waste. So guys, mock is your trial and error thing. It's a lab. You have to start small. First, start, first understand this. Like don't, don't jump right into mocks. There are some people do this. They start late and then, then, then they dive right into the mocks and they feel, I mocks lagana shuru kiya hai. I'm not getting the scores. What is it? Some kind of magic? You're not going to do well in that. So first, you have to understand this. Start small. Start small means start with short tests. You are talking about mocks which have like, you know, all the three sections in two hours. You're not used to that. Start with 10 questions. Set the timer accordingly. Start taking 10 tests. You know, keep this target. 10, 10 such sessions of 10 questions in maybe 20 minutes. Set the timer for 20 minutes and do these 10 questions, 10 such sessions. Then move on to sectionals. Sectionals go a little higher. So sectionals me kya hai? Give yourself 40 minutes, set the timer accordingly and give yourself like 20 to 24 questions. Not even 24, give yourself 20, 20 questions for that. This is sectionals. Then move on gradually to mocks. Now, here I am going to talk about the foolproof mock taking strategy that works wonders for everybody actually. Even if it's a person who is well versed with his questions and the topics on VRC syllabus, he can do this and even an average or below average student can do this. The simplest way is go for 2222. This is what I call it, 2222 technique. So there are four passages in RC. Let's say I go and take the uh, test as an educator. So I'm supposed to get good marks, right? Even then I would do this 2222 technique. Why? There's a psychological thing. Once I do 2, 2, 2, 2, like, you know, as soon as I complete 8 questions, I get that feeling, oh, 80 to 85 percentile is clear. Why? Because I have done these 8 questions with great accuracy. I know I'm going to do, I'm going to at least get that many marks. After that, go over to uh, your VA section. Pick 5 questions from there. So, 8 and 5, 13. Now, please make a note of this here. When you're doing this 2, 2, 2, 2, this has to be done in 20 minutes. Be careful about that. You can't spread yourself so much that those eight questions are taking you 30, 35 minutes. No way. Then you are doomed. So you have to give yourself practice for this. So eight questions in 20 minutes. The next 10 minutes for those five VA questions or even if you do four chalega. And the last eight, seven to eight minutes, you go back to RC. Pick two or three more questions from there. Or if you are like, you know, uh, if you are not very comfortable with RC, you can go back to VA section and pick two or three questions later. So it's eight plus five and then in the end, three, three or four according to your comfort. The thing over here is everybody can't expect to do like, you know, in a similar way. So if a person is an expert, he can do 
two 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 eight questions in fifteen to twenty minutes, and then he can go for some more RC questions from those same passages, of course. So he's like you know by now he's familiar with those passages. He can go for the second round of shopping, got it? And then he can move to VA. However, if it's an average person or a just ab just above average person, he need not become greedy. He just needs to do two 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 like eighty five percentile eight questions eight to nine questions you get eighty five percentile. After that, just go to VA, pick maybe three to four questions, go easy on yourself. In the end, if you have five to seven minutes, go back for one or two more questions. So, go for thirteen to fourteen questions if you are not very sure of your answers. Just go for these many questions instead of kind of freaking out on so many questions and such less time. I hope this helps, guys. Hello, my dear learners. So, just a few days are left for CAT. I'm sure you're getting butterflies in your stomach. But we have to do something about them. So build familiarity. What I say, na, when we go and do something which is like totally alienish to us, we get all the most scared. So whether it's an exam, or you're getting married to somebody you don't know, or maybe you're going to a new place. So the the important thing here is build familiarity. So in VARC, you must have heard me and the other educators say this particular thing that keep reading. You have to read good editorials, journals, articles. Go to good sources. Give yourself like diversity, different types of uh, articles, different genre. So now I'll tell you something, like something that you should read for the next hundred days, a hundred and ten days. How can you build up your reading skills in just these last few days of your prep? I'll give you crisp points. Number one. Pick your cat passages from 2017 to 2022. Okay, we have the official material available. Pick those passages and start picking concepts from there. Read all those passages. Try to understand what has been said. Look here, those passages are not going to come again. So you must be thinking this. क्यों बोल रही हमको ये पढ़ने के लिए ये तो आने वाला है नहीं दुबारा. Trust me, guys. The concepts and the terms that are there in those passages. They keep it. So, like last year, there was a passage of Orientalism or something, and in that they came up with this uh, word. Um, uh, there was something called uh, utopia, dystopia. I'm not exactly able to remember what it was, but in one topic they came up with three to four other subtopics, and those subtopics can keep uh, can recur in other passages also. Otherwise, they can give you a main passage on those cons. So here it boils down to this that you have to pick. The important concepts and the terms, but obviously we can't be Wikipedia. So pick passages from 17, go on till 2022, all your cat passages that you have, and start noting down the concepts. Start reading on those. That is point number one. Point number two: Stop reading novels or the Hindu political stuff or Eon essays for that matter. Because Eon essays me kya ho raha hai? Cat does give passages from Eon essays, but cat. picks like a few paragraphs from an article the students don't know exactly how to read those passages so when the students start reading they get so lost in the 4000 or 5000 long 5000 word long essays that they are not able to understand the gist so please dump dump these things and start going to sources like scientific american smithsonian guardian new york times science direct uh, history today philosophy today these these um, these articles sorry these sources have like very easy language and you can easily understand these things i would suggest that point number 3 if you're trying to improve your reading in these last few days please focus on understanding what you're reading don't be in a hurry like you know in 40 minutes ma'am how many articles should i read ma'am i read i generally read 6 to 7 articles in 40 minutes that's not the You are not going to do well if you do that uh, jet kind of a thing, jet jet reading. No, you have to pause. You have to understand. You have to read things, and you have to let them sink in. So that's the third important point going forward. Focus more on reading. Like you know, earlier if you were reading for thirty to forty minutes, increase it to maybe one hour, one one and a half hours, and read to understand. 
I hope these three points are clear and I'm sure you'll crack it. After CAT 2022, we were euphoric. And of course, it was because more than 750 of our students from an academy made it to the top IMs of the country. That was the reason for celebration. You can be the next one. You can make it to the hallowed corridors of these top IMs guys. You can build a career of your own. Now, if you take a subscription on an academy, you get access to various things, doors open for you. We have one-on-one -on -one mentorships. We have specialized classes from various educators who are veterans in their fields. So you attend classes, you get to ask questions, you get to ask your doubts, you get to discuss things with your educators. Besides this, we have got various practice sections. We have quizzes, we have extensive question banks, and of course we have notes also. What do I mean by notes? Well, these are, this is content. Like, you know, sections of content that have been curated by experts by the top uh, educators, and these are there for you to practice from. So guys, what are you waiting for? One subscription and you open so many doors, these doors lead to your career, your brilliant, sparkling, glimmering future in one of the top aisles. Don't you think that's a great thing? Think about it and let's crack it. Unacademy, let's crack it.